Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on central tenancy. I have here an Excel workbook and specifically a worksheet. And in column A, I have 30 scores, 30 data points. I'm going to show you how to calculate some measures of central tenancy for these 30 scores. So let's start with the mean. In Excel, you want to start with the equal sign to uh, begin a function. And in Excel, the mean is average. And the range would be A1 through A30 because I have 30 scores. And you can see the mean for this data set is 52.3. Then we have the median. Now the median is the score in the middle of a data set when the data is arranged from lowest to highest. If there's an even number of scores, it's the average of the two scores in the middle. In Excel, median is, the function is median, so it's pretty easy to remember. Again, 1 through 30 in the A column. And the median for this data is 51. So I want to show you how Excel arrived at score 51. This data set on the left is ordered from lowest to highest, as you can see. And we know the two scores in the middle, is even number of scores, See the two scores in the middle, 44 and 58. The average of these two scores is 51. So now let's move to the mode. Now the mode is the score in a data set that appears the most number of times. Again, it's fairly easy to remember, mode. Same range. And you can see it's 44. And if you just look at the data set real quickly, you can see 35 appears twice, 44 appears four times, 60 appears twice, as does the value 69 and the value 74. So there are a few values that repeat, but 44 repeats the most times. And that's why it's the mode. Then we have variance. And variance is a construct that's used in statistics, but it's not uh, very interpretable. Uh, but it's used in a lot of calculations. So I, I do want to show you how to calculate it. But we'll mostly, for measures of, of dispersion, we'll mostly be using standard deviation. But let's take a look at variance. Now you see right away there's two types of uh, variance. You have the uh, population and the sample. We're going to use the sample variance. And again, select the range. And you see the variance is 322.769. So you can see that's not very interpretable, but the standard deviation uh, is relatively easy to interpret. Let's calculate that. And in Excel, that's going to be STDV, and we have here population and sample, so we're going to select sample. Again, same range. And it's 17.9658. So what the standard deviation tells us is the average distance that any particular score is from the mean. So it's a measure of dispersion in the data set. So one other area surrounding variance of standard deviation that I want to touch on is that is the relationship between these two. 
the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. And the variance is the square of the standard deviation. So just to demonstrate this, I'll move over here uh, a couple columns. And let's take the square root of the variance. And you can see even though it has an additional character, uh, it's the same value, 17.96. And if we move up here and square the standard deviation, which would be equal sign uh, the standard deviation, which is in cell D11, squared, you can see it's equivalent to the variance value we have here. So I hope this video was helpful in terms of learning about central tendency. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.